I'll come back in Arillas for another painting session. Today I show you how to use the ink, which I use quite often. Uh, it is uh, from Roder and Klinger. It's uh, the one which I'm using now is uh, gold gelb, so it's a yellow. And I find this very useful because uh, it changes the color, but it doesn't change the pattern. In this case, I just use a, a soft brush here. By the way, for uh, uh, using the, the brushes in, in painting, I find it very useful if you are interested in painting more often then it's good you collect a set of your favorite brushes. Now the people always ask me what is a, a good brush. I mean the, the good good brush is, uh, is uh, the one which fits you. So there is no rule really. Um, myself I I tend to like the more expensive brushes and I guess uh, as a rule they are usually better. Like for instance this brush here is not losing any hair, it has a good, a good spring so and I can really press hard and it absorbs the color nicely. Again also when you this one is also a very beautiful brush. It's actually more like for watercolor. But I, I just always travel with, this is my uh, favorite set of brushes and that's how I travel. So I recommend you to also to collect some um, brushes because it's uh, very useful even when you come to a course uh, usually I don't give people the most expensive brushes in the beginning because they uh, have not yet the feeling what the good brush is all about and something very important which I want to tell you also now when you uh, want to keep the brush long basically a, a brush can leave your whole life uh, if you really take care of it the, and to take care of it means well, don't use it with the acrylic color on the brush don't use it just standing by the on the table you put it always into water in this way in this way you secure that the brush is not that the color is not drying up on the brush because once the color is drying on the brush, it can really ruin the brush. The other thing is when you wash out the brush, the most important part is here, just the behind, at the, at the end here, really massage that part and take out the color. And then, when you, before you put the brush away, always dry it with a cloth and and keep it as dry as, as possible. Also, don't uh, store the brush uh, standing like this. Many people do that. They put it into a glass, but what happens is that the water which is still remaining in the brush, it starts flowing inside this part, and then slowly, slowly this gets moldy or is destroyed and then the blast brushes start losing the hair. So that's just a short lesson about the brushes. I'm coming back to my uh, ink. I'm using now this ink. I just go straight into the bottle and I'm applying the yellow ink onto the painting. As you can see, the, now the mountains become yellow which is just what I wanted because the white was too glary for me. 
and the whole texture which is made by the newspaper remains in this way we can quickly change the whole color of the mountains so I just add all the way now it's also fitting much more with the top mm. now in, in this painting I would say that on the top there is still something missing and it can't be more interesting and again I want to show you something which you can do to make it more interesting without really painting with a small brush again let's say I'm, I'm taking the gold paint again I'm going over of course this always means I'm destroying something yeah? I'm destroying one layer but as an as in my in my experience is usually it adds to the painting and especially when you come to the point where you feel like oh my god now you really destroyed it that's usually a very good point because this is an opportunity for you to really let go and again some of my uh, so-called best paintings I have been painting going through that stage of uh, frustration now this is uh, I'm using this technique now which is <laughs> I also found uh, yeah, funny and, uh, and beautiful at the same time. Uh, whenever I go shopping, I always look what kind of uh, uh, household paper, what kind of paper is there in the store, because they all have different patterns. In this one has is an Italian paper, as you can see here, and it has a, a heart pattern. So let's see what will happen because never we never get any guarantee on this kind of techniques ah you see you can see the you get a, a subtle heart pattern in the sky of the mountains above the mountains now yeah this is a, a beautiful way to uh, play with this now I'm I'm playing a little more right? I put again some yellow color here and start mixing with some green and go over and uh, just leave a little red there now I have to put quite a bit of water because I want to show you how to use these household sponges again this is a technique you don't need to buy you can just use whatever you have probably already in your house So here, this is the package which I bought here, it's basically just this simple dishwashing sponges. Now on this, on this sponge you can see that uh, they have a certain pattern 
like these lines probably all of them have and I'm, I'm just making it wet and now I just press go over it like this yeah. and you see we get these interesting looking lines I do it on the other side also yeah, isn't that great? <laughs> and now I actually like very much the this part here, and I I think this part is not really uh, uh, fitting up there. So I would probably change something there, but just for now. I want to complete this session and I want to say goodbye for today thank you for watching this session bye bye Here is the best place to be now is the only time It's not a problem to be solved, but the mystery, a mystery.